Welcome. So let's get started with the lesson today. We're going to be learning how to compare things. Now, I've already made a video about how to compare things. You can watch my live stream from December 16, 2018. And in there, we talk about how to use the adverbs tall and tall, and they mean more and less. So adverbs are used directly before a verb. So if you take tall plus verb or tall plus verb, then you get more or less of that verb. So for a really quick example, kimchi를 더 주세요. So please give me tall more kimchi. So that's all there is to know about tall and tall by themselves. So next, let's talk about how to make basic comparisons in Korean. And the way you do that is with Poda. The way that poda works is you can think of it as meaning then. So then when you're comparing something, for example, I am smarter than Charsu. And the way it works is you can take a noun and you attach poda directly after it. So if I were saying I'm smarter than Charsu, I would say Charsu poda. After here, this is where you would add to or to. So this is how you would say you are more than something or someone or less than something or someone. So let's do a simple sentence. 저는 철수 보다. So I then 철수 똑똑해요. So I am smart in what way? 더, more. So literally, I am more smart than 철수. 저는 철수 보다 더 똑똑해요. So just this part by itself, 더 똑똑해요 means I am more smart. And 철수 보다 is where we get the comparison. But you can also do this. 저는 철수 보다 덜 똑똑해요. I don't know why you would say this, but you could say I am less smart than 철수. But this also has the exact same meaning as 철수 보다 더 똑똑해요. The 더 after 보다 is actually 100% optional. So you could say 저는 철수 보다 똑똑해요. And it means I am more smart than 철수. Because literally what you're saying is, I'm smart when you compare me to 철수. So that implies the same thing. So whether you use 더 or not, it has the same meaning. But if you want to say less, you have to use 덜. 피자는 햄버거 보다 맛있어요. Pizza, pizza, hamburger, hamburger, then, soil tastes good, then, as in compared to, hamburgers. So pizza, compared to hamburgers, tastes really good. So you're implying pizza tastes better than hamburgers. Pizza time. Pizza는 햄버거보다 맛있어요. So pizza tastes better or is tastier than hamburgers. Whether you agree or not, doesn't really matter. That's what the sentence says. 저는, so I, 빵보다, then bread, or let's say it a different way, compared to bread. So as for me, compared to bread, 밥을 더 좋아합니다. I like more, 더 좋아합니다, 밥, rice. So I like rice more. So if we just take a look at this sentence, we have 밥을 더 좋아합니다. I like rice more than bread. 저는 빵보다 밥을 더 좋아합니다. So I like rice more than bread. 이게, so 이것이, 그것보다, more than that, 더 나아요. This comes from the verb 낫다. 낫다 conjugates as 나아요. And 낫다 means to be preferable. So this, 이게, this thing, is preferable over that thing. So this means, this is better for me. I should note that 더 and 덜, while these adverbs mean more and less, it doesn't have to do with the quantity of something necessarily. It simply is the degree or the level of something. So if you wanted to say, I do something more with an action verb than someone else, well, you wouldn't just say 더 해요. That means do more, but it doesn't specify in what way are you doing more. Are you doing more often? Are you doing something in a larger amount? More what? We're not really sure. It can be vague at times if you just say 더 with an action verb. So in order to help the sentence make better sense, it's common that when you're using 더 with an action verb, it'll be attached before another adverb which clarifies in what way that you mean. 
So I'll give you an example. Here are two sentences that both start with 저는 철수 보다. We have 더 많이 먹어요. So I eat more than 철수, specifically 더 많이. You could just make the sentence 저는 많이 먹어요. I eat a lot. A lot of food is what it means. But now we have 더 많이 먹어요. So I can eat a larger amount of food than 철수 can. Not that I'm eating 더 먹어요. Not just that I'm eating more maybe of the food in front of me. I don't know. More often, more what? So this clarifies it. And you'll often want to use mani with mokda anyway. Or 저는 철수 보다 이를 더 빨리 해요. 일 하다 is to work. So you could say 일을 빨리 하다, to work quickly. But now we have 더 빨리 해요. So I work more quickly. 저는 철수 보다 이를 더 빨리 해요. I work more quickly than 철수. So not just eater tall heo, I do more work. Okay, it could be a bit vague though, so you might want to clarify that. Eater tall mani heo, I do a lot more work than charsu. Eater tall chal heo, I work more well, as in I do better job with my work than charsu does. Maybe he's like slipping and throwing things all over the place and driving the forklift into the wall. Chonen eater tall chal heo, I work better than he does. So whatever adverb you put in here is going to help add meaning to the tall. But just adding tall by itself or tall can often be vague with action verbs. The next way that we can make comparisons is by using the form e pihe or e pihe so. The so at the end is completely optional. So you can say pihe or pihe so. It has the same meaning this form actually means compared to. The reason is this form uses the verb in it, bihada. Bihada is an action verb and it means to compare. However, do not write this down in your Anki deck. Do not write this down in your vocabulary list. It is not used on its own. This verb is only used in special grammar forms such as this one. So this form literally means comparing something to a a noun. So comparing to a noun, and then you say whatever you want to say for your comparison. If you want to actually just say to compare something though, use this verb, 비교를 하다. So not 비하다, but 비교. This means to compare, and you can use this as a regular action verb. Like don't compare that, or I compared this with this. 저는 철수에 비해서 이를 더 빨리 해요. 저는 I 철수에 비해서 compared to 철수 이를 더 빨리 해요. Compared to 철수, I work more quickly. It's pretty similar to the last form we had. 저는 철수 보다 이를 더 빨리 해요. Or 저는 철수에 비해서 이를 더 빨리 해요. They're both the same in the way they work. 이게 so 이것이 so this. 한국어를 배우다, to learn Korean. So 한국어를 배우는 것. Learning Korean, 에 비해서. So this, compared with learning Korean, 쉬워요, is easy. So 이게 쉬워요, this is easy, is the first part of the sentence. Compared to 한국어를 배우는 것에 비해서, comparing with learning Korean, this is easy. 이게 한국어를 배우는 것에 비해서, 쉬워요. So this is, compared to learning Korean, this is easy. So this is easy compared to learning Korean. 지하철을 타는 것은 So taking the subway, so let's talk about that. 걸어가다, to walk somewhere. 걸어가는 것, so walking there, 에 비해서. So taking the subway compared to walking there is 빨라요, is fast. Or you can think of it as 더 빨라요, but you don't need that. Taking the subway, 지하철을 타는 것은 빨라요. 지하철 타는 것은 걸어가는 것에 비해서 빨라요. So taking the subway compared to walking there is faster. Either of these can be used as they both have the same meaning. You can swap them out in a sentence, but the nuance is a bit different. 비해서 sounds a little bit fancier. That doesn't mean that it's not commonly used in speech. You'll hear it all the time. And it does something that Pulda doesn't quite do, and that is emphasizes the difference. It emphasizes that comparison you're making because it actually means comparing to something. So it adds in that emphasis of comparing something, and by doing that, emphasizes the difference between the things that you're comparing. But besides that, their usage and meaning is the same. So you can use either one of them. 
a p 하면. Since I already told you earlier that 비해서 comes from the verb 비하다, can you guess what this form means? This is simply the 면 form attached to 비하다. Before we had the 서 form attached, comparing, and now we have if you compare it. It has the same usage and the same meaning, but this form is less common than 비해서. It's just making a hypothetical comparison. Here's one more sentence with 보다 and 비해서. So we have 이게, so this, 그것, and now we're going to have the sentence 그것 보다 더 나요. And the sentence 그것에 비해서 더 나요. So I'd prefer this over that. Both sentences have the same meaning. This one simply emphasizes that comparison a little more. So this and that, I'm comparing them. Now we're kind of putting them both up for comparison. This one is better, is what you're saying. But the meaning is the same. That is our lesson for today. Thanks for watching, and I will see you again next week. 그럼 다음에 또 봐.